All right, closer to home, let's talk about Arlington. Voters could find out here in just a matter of hours if they will help the Texas Rangers build a new $1 billion stadium. Our Gilma Avalos and Joel Thomas covering each side of the vote. We begin with Joel Thomas, who is live at the stadium with supporters. Yeah, well, this is the Hilton where they're getting ready for their watch party. And the sign is sort of symbolic of the whole campaign. They went big on everything. Right now, they've got all the big decorations back here ready to move them inside the ballroom to get ready for that watch party. And what we'll see here tonight is what we saw in the field today, an influential, confident group of volunteers who will do everything from making phone calls to feeding the troops. So we're just passing out lunches. we got some chicken sandwiches, some bottled water. We're taking out to all the volunteers. A local restaurant chipped in to deliver lunches to volunteers spread out at polling places across Arlington. Spread the love. The Vote Yes campaign has enjoyed widespread support from businesses around the entertainment district who see a direct impact from people visiting the stadiums. They go to the ball game, they come back after the game, then our servers make money, they go to the Walgreens, they go to the Kroger's, they go to CVS. It's just a perfect trickle-down effect. The campaign volunteer force is overwhelmingly larger than its opposition, and they're using them to get out the vote until the polls close. What stands out, though, is who the volunteers are. That's the school board president. Yes, and a volunteer for the Vote Yes campaign. At the phone bank, there's a council member making calls. Vote Yes says it had unprecedented unity in who's working the campaign. The firefighters, the police, the realtors, the NAACP, neighborhood groups. It's a very unified group. A lot of people pulling together to support the, their stadium deal. Now, the opposition group Save Our Stadium has mounted a very determined opposition campaign. Gilma Avalos is covering their campaign, and she's in southeast Arlington right now. Gilma? Joel, the after war crowds are starting to make their way here to the polls and members of Save Our Stadium say that uh, crowds have been fairly light and that's thanks to the weather. But tonight they plan to celebrate in a major way at a watch party. They're officially they're calling their officially outspent watch party. Save Our Stadium is admittedly outspent and outnumbered, but feeling optimistic tonight. One of the organizers of the group says the grassroots campaign has spent $10,000 compared to some $1.4 million by the opposition. The race is tight, so he believes if each side gets about half the voters, this is how spending breaks down. We're going to spend about 10 cents per voter, and they're going to spend over $20 per voter by my math. Vote No supporters say theirs has had to be a boots on the ground campaign. Peggy Rudd and her husband, who are not in favor of building a new stadium and are not affiliated with any campaign, took it upon themselves to pound the pavement, traveling over 500 miles, knocking on doors seven days a week to get the word out. We walked every day for three or four hours a day. We didn't stop. And then we'd go, you know, relax and eat after we finished. But we could cover 300 homes. 300 or you know, we really day? travel. Oh, yes. Tonight's watch party happening at The Rock on Lamar Street. And this is what you might call a BYOM event. Bring your own money, money to buy food, money to buy drinks. They're promising absolutely nothing but, quote, election results and good company. Live in Arlington, Gilma Avalos, CBS 11 News.